Hi everyone, it's Tandy. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to use Wondershare in cloud. Before I get into today's video, I do want to give a huge thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. Wondershare in clouds is a cloud migration and management solution. Using Wondershare in clouds, you can migrate data from one cloud to another, manage all clouds in one place, sync data between different clouds and ensure the safety of your cloud data. The services that Wondershare in cloud supports include Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Box, Amazon S3, and Google Photo. The program is available on Windows 10, 8, and 7, as well as Mac OS. So to download, you can just click this button that says download now, and it'll begin the installation process. So once you install Wondershare in clouds, this is what the simple user interface looks like. So you can start off by logging in by clicking this button up on the top left corner that says log in. So to add a drive to Wondershare in clouds, you're going to first select this section that says management on the left side, and then you're going to click this button that says add. After that, you're going to choose which cloud service that you want to add. So I'm going to start off by um, adding my Google Drive and then I'm going to sign in using my Google Drive account. Now it is authorized successfully so I'm going to go back to InCloud. As you guys can see the Google Drive is successfully authorized so now I'm going to add again so I can add in my Dropbox and then I'm going to go back to InClouds. And as you can see, I have both my Google Drive and my Dropbox and in clouds. So up at the top, you can see some data about your two drives. So I can see that I've got two cloud drives in and I've used 1.05 megabytes and I've got 17 gigabytes of unused data. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to migrate data from one drive to another. So I'm going to start off by clicking the migrate section on the left side and then you're going to choose your source cloud drive and your target cloud drive. So I want to migrate my data from my Dropbox to my Google Drive. So I'm going to start off by selecting my Dropbox as the source cloud drive, and then my Google Drive as the target cloud drive. And then I'm going to select the migrate button. And as you can see, my data has successfully been migrated from my Dropbox to my Google Drive. So following that same exact process, you can actually migrate specific files from one drive to another. So how to do that, you're going to just click on the cloud drive and then select which files you want to migrate. And then after you selected it, you're going to follow the same process that I just showed of migrating the data. Using Wondershare in clouds, you can sync data from one cloud drive to another. Basically, this means that anytime you upload or create a file onto one cloud drive, it will automatically appear in the other cloud drive. So to do that, you're going to select the sync button on the left side, and then you're going to choose your source cloud drive and your target cloud drive. So I want to sync the data in my Google Drive to the data in my Dropbox. And to do that, I'm going to select my Google Drive as the source cloud drive and my target cloud drive, I'm going to select my Dropbox. Um, please keep in mind that when you're syncing data, you cannot sync specific files. You have to sync the entire data. And then I'm going to select the sync button and it has synced successfully. Using Wondershare in clouds, I can manage my cloud drive. So to do that, I'm going to select management from the left section. And as you can see, I've got my Dropbox and my Google Drive. So I'm going to start off by managing my Google Drive. I'm going to select Google Drive. And here I can see all of the files that are in my Google Drive. As you can see, all the files that were from my Dropbox have been successfully synced into my Google Drive and are now in my Google Drive. So using these buttons up here, you can do quite a lot. This arrow here, you can use it to refresh the data. And then using this button, you can upload files to that cloud drive. I'm just gonna click on the button, go into my downloads, and upload a file. There we go. Using this button over here, I can download a file by selecting a file and then selecting download. And I've downloaded that to my computer now. Using this button, I can create a folder in my Google Drive. Using this button, I can create a task. By right-clicking on a file, you're able to download the file, migrate it to another cloud drive, rename the file, or delete the file. 
And if you would like to check out Wondershare in class for yourself, please feel free to check out the link in my description box down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!